Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, video brought to you by Ants101. Today we're going to be talking about how to move your ants to a new setup, um, test tube setup more specifically. Um, we're going to talk about the signs that they're ready for one, and also like um, when you should, ways to move them, he using heat and light to move ants. Um, so we're going to cover the basics of moving ants from one test tube setup to another. So enjoy the video. But before we get to that, we're going to take a quick update on my current ant colonies. Um, so this is my Lassie's colony, and they, I, I'm moving them because their their um, cotton's getting slightly moldy, and it's getting harder to view them because of you know whatever is getting on the inside of the test tube. So that's the reason for moving them. They they still have a full water reservoir, but as you're going to see shortly, our um, colony of Campanatus ants right here. They're doing really well in terms of their colony. Like I've had them for I think around three quarters of a year now. But they have three or she, the queen has three workers, a big pile of um larva. But as you can see their water reservoir is basically empty, so that's why I'm moving these guys. So there's a couple of things you're gonna want to think about. Uh, you're gonna want to consider if you are considering moving them from one test tube to another. Um, first off, is the it, do they have workers or not? The queen does she have workers or not? And um, if yes, that's gonna just make your job a lot easier, and them for them too because they'll have um, the workers to help carry the brood over. It'll be less stress on the queen. If you don't have workers, you're gonna want to hold off unless it's absolutely necessary because um, it is, it will stress the queens out a lot. So that's, that's number one. And um, then there's the common signs of your ants needing to move is that um, they'll be out in their outworld if they have one attached looking around for a new thing. They might, you know, be trying to dig out, try to pull at the cotton if you have a cotton cover, whatever. And also just make, just if the water reservoir is empty, but Finally, um, I'd like to say something about some people want to use um, heat to move their colonies. That is okay. It does pose a risk. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use heat unless it's fully necessary. But um, if you are decided to do that, just make sure you apply a little bit of heat gradually at a time so you'll slowly move the heat source closer because if you um, move it too close, they might overheat and die. So if you have it really close and ants are starting to act like they're really hot, maybe even dying, you should probably move it away. But, um, so those are the common signs. If you are thinking about moving, they will sort of tell you that they're thinking about moving in a way. But um, now we're gonna get to attaching the new test tubes. Okay, so as you can see, um, oh, this footage is sped up to two times normal speed, but here is the ant colony itself, and then here's the fresh new test tube with the um, water reservoir and the, co the cotton is moist, so it's all ready for the ants to move into, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop the lid off of this. I also just want to say if you don't have uh, adapters and all kinds of Ants Canada stuff, you just have the classic test tubes, tape works. Just go ahead and tape them up. Also, if you are doing it like that, make sure you go ahead and take it off once in a while if they're not moving so that they can have some air. And uh, I might as well just clean it while it's open. So I'm trying to get this piece of worm out, but um, yeah, I'll skip to the next part. Okay, here we go. Actually testing it, this is real time. So I'm just gonna push the adapter into that other adapter. And um, there, it's attached. So there's the new one there. There's the old one that they're in. Also, you're gonna wanna expose, well, I'll show this more later, but the one that they're in, expose to a direct light and cover the one that they, you want them to move into. Here I have it shown a little bit better. Um, there's the lamp right there. 
that the one that they're in has a lot of light and then it's going to make them uncomfortable. And the one that I want them to move into has a piece of paper covering it, so it lures them in. Alright guys, for some reason the video footage of me um, detaching the test tube to the Lassius colony was completely lost. I don't even know. According to like my phone and camera and stuff, it just never existed, but... And whatever uh, it's not it wasn't that important but as you can see they're now attached and all my colonies are attached so we're gonna skip right to um the time lapse of them moving over all right guys this video footage right here is sped up to four times normal speed as you can tell the ants are moving quite fast um so at this point um they hadn't really started moving brood yet but the ants were going back and forth um checking it out and then coming back to the rest of the colony to basically say hey guys we found an, a better place to live something that's more suitable it's darker and moister and just all around better so eventually more and more ants discovered it and um then uh they're gonna tell more and more in the colony and eventually the whole colony will move but as for right now it's just ants going back and forth i'll just let you enjoy the short time lapse Here is the um the old one on the right here's the test tube portal and then the new one is on the left here i usually don't recommend taking the cover off when you're wanting them, them, them to move but i'll make an expectation or an, an exception so you guys can see but um there they are just exploring every little nook and cranny after noticing that um they weren't really looking in their new test tube anymore they just stayed in their current one i decided to tilt it so it's a little bit more in direct light and I also added that little drop of honey scene there just to get that just to entice them to come out of their test tube and for the campanata ants, um they have discovered it one of the three workers has already traveled over here into the area in fact uh, th there she is right now she's already gone in there and um so she's discovered it hopefully they'll move as well but that's really as simple as it is guys you just and then once you just keep an eye on them and once they are fully moved in to their new setup you detach the old one and plug it up with either cotton or a plug or whatever you want to use and uh that's really all there is to it so thank you guys for taking our time this has been a rather long video but thanks for watching and i'll uh see you guys in the next video